Fourth century, he's locking the door. She texts him, let me see your hand. I don't do that. Nope. That's me, that's who it is. Oh, oh, I'll that. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm Show me your hands. Hands in the air, you're gonna be tased. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Hey Scott, Bounty Hunter Boot Camp with a gear review for you. Make sure you have the bell on if you are subscribed. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Support the channel. We're approaching 100,000 subscribers. When we hit 100,000, we're going to have giveaways. We're going to do some crazy stuff. Um, hopefully nobody ends up in the hospital. That's always a plus. So I had a company reach out to me and say, hey, you want to review a product? And I looked at the product and I said, well, it's not really bounty hunter related. But, you know, if bounty hunting is the only thing that defines who you are, you need to get a life because for about eight years, bounty hunting defined my life and that's all I did. I didn't do anything else. I had no time for anything else. Um, and it's very sad, very sad existence. So, um, so this company, they are called Roaring Fire. They sent me this tool roll up and I'm like, I've got tools, but they're in my, you know, Harbor Freight little roll box in the garage. What? does Scott need with the Roaring Fire uh, tool roll? Uh, these things are handmade, really impressive. Um, you know, I do a lot of reviews on a lot of gear for bounty hunters. Um, this is designed for everyday use. It's got a really cool shoulder strap uh, a handle. So we're gonna dive in and see, can you guess what I might have used this for? Because I didn't use it for tools. And you don't, you know, as all gear, you don't always have to use gear as it's, um, as it's defined. You can find multiple purposes for different kinds of gear and different kinds of tools and equipment. So um, this is just one of those. So we're gonna dive in and we're gonna check this out. These things are handmade in the United States. They're extremely affordable and they're very cool. And, uh, and I actually like this product. So um, here we go. So the official name for this product is the Roaring Fire Armadillo Tool Roll Organizer Pouch that's that's the that's the official name for these, and if you break down um, some of the specs, rolled it's uh, thirteen point seven eight inches long, seven inches wide, opened it's twenty six inches by thirteen. Uh, it's made from a heavy duty duckware sixteen um, ann canvas. I don't really understand the depths on that, but maybe you guys do. Um, it's great for uh, storing and organizing tools, gear, survival items. Um, it absorbs excess oil. Uh, it's uh, got 23 pockets and 16 looped, um, packed into a compact roll, as you'll see. And, uh, you know, I found a creative use for this. So here we go. So um, it's got some Velcro here. Um, I don't know if that's for, I really don't know what it's for. Um, it's got this shoulder strap. Uh, this, these are plastic, um, but you know, heavy duty, heavy duty plastic. And uh, so here's here's what I have. Can you guess what it is yet? Here's what I have inside my Roaring Fire Armadillo pouch. Ready? I have all my O lights. Not all of them because I couldn't fit them all in here. Um, and, but you know, like the new uh, Warrior X um, Turbo. Yeah, that's not going to fit in here. And uh, so I, I, I was like, what am I going to put in here? I mean, I do have tools. Uh, I do have tools, but, you know, my tools are in my rolling cart um, in, uh, in my garage. So right away, these things are handmade, uh, which, is, which is really cool. Anytime you can find anything that's handmade um, and not made in China, uh, it's always a plus. You know, these are handmade, hand-stitched, and uh, I used my Olight. You know, I use this to store all these oil lights that I keep getting. Um, and I, and what's, what's crazy is I have more oil lights and I can't fit all of my oil lights in here, uh, which, is, which, is, which is just a trip. So there's 23 pockets, and the pockets vary in size. Uh, so depending on what you have, like, you know, with the smaller oil light, you know, like the, with like the keychain um, oil light, you know, I put it in the, the smaller pouch. You also have these elastic 
keepers as well. Uh, you, you can organize, you know, I'm a, I'm a bit of a survivalist. I got a lot of survival gear. Um, very cool uh, for the survival gear. I just thought it would be nifty to put all my O-lights in here um, just because uh, it's something I have a lot of. So, so it has these, these pouches on the end that are secured by Velcro. Uh, I fit the, the baton one in here. Um, some additional accessories for Olight. I have the really itty bitty Olight. I was afraid it might fall out, so I threw it in there because it's a little bit more secured. It holds the PL Mini uh, Valkyrie 2, which kind of gives you an idea of, you know, of, of, of the pouch size. And on the other side, and laid out flat, this bag is 26 inches from, from, from end to end. And to give you a size comparison, you know, this is the, you know, this is the Warrior X, not the Warrior X Pro, very first Warrior um, X I got. So that's the size of the Warrior X, which is what, about, about four inches long. And, um, you know, so if, you've, if you're a tool guy and you got lots of tools and you want to keep all your wrenches and stuff in an easy grab-to-go uh, bag, uh, this is the way to go. This side has the three pouches. This side has two. So I was like, well, what can I put in the twos here? And what I did was um, I put the PL2 Valkyrie uh, light in there. And um, I also threw a charging cable in. This charging cable charges just about everything other than the minis. Um, for, for the flashlights. So I got a charging cable in here and uh, I, I've got a lot of different lights. So these two end pouches are, are, are larger end, end pouches about five or six inches long uh, that's secure with Velcro. Um, the, the canvas material reminds me a lot. My dad was in the um, Korean War, in the Army during the Korean War, and a lot of his bags, that, it, that, that's what this reminds me of. I'm not a fabric ex expert. I'm not an expert in, in this um, at all. You know, I, I like to thank the guys for, um, at the company for sending this for me to review. Uh, I wanted to get it out to you guys to show you what it is. And I, like I said, I'm using it for flashlights. You know, you could use it for anything. This could be used for anything. You could put knives in here. Uh, you could put cutlery in here if you're a camper. You could put your best knives in here. Uh, you know, if, if, uh, if you're a hunter, you could put your hunting uh, butcher equipment in here. Or you could, you know, it, the, the sky's the limit. Your imagination goes wild. Um, I, you know, I worked as a photographer and a camera guy for years as a photojournalist. Um, I, I could put tools for, uh, for my photography stuff in here. So, you know, sky's the limit on what you can use this for. And uh, like I said, I wanted to showcase uh, my Olights. This is a limited edition uh, Olight that I got. It says not for sale. Uh, it's got that thin blue line going on it. Uh, they, these were at SHOT Show. One of the advantages of going to SHOT Show and getting invited to cool things like the Olight um, event, you get really cool not for sale items. And no, you can't have it. And don't message me asking me to gift it to you. So, um, yeah, so this is how I used my uh, armadillo rolling pouch, you know, and it, and it's and it's it's cool, you know, you, you you just you just roll it back up, you just roll it back up, and there it is, all my O lights. Now you certainly won't want to drop this. Well, you know, O lights do have a drop. Uh, you know, so you wouldn't want to be over five or six feet and drop all my O-lights. Probably not a good day for all my O-lights. But, uh, you know, it holds everything in there. You know, it's got pouches and it's got the elastic bands. I can shake and shake and shake and shake and shake and everything in there stays in there. It doesn't come out. So, hey, shoulder strap, roaring fire, armadillo bag. Check it out. All right, so the, the Roaring Fire Armadillo Bag, lifetime warranty, made in the USA. I'm going to look at my cheat sheet here. Made in the USA. Uh, no coupon code is required because the pricing is already awesome. And uh, they're shipping. They, the, the company, um, you know, they're on, they're on the Internet. They're on Instagram, uh, Roaring Fire Gear. And uh, their Instagram page is cool because if – People are using their products, they, they'll feature them. So you, you, know, you send them the photo or you tag the photo in them. 
and uh, really digging the product. They make other products, you know, they make a med kit, they make a shoulder bag, and they make some other things that are industry specific uh, to our industry. Um, that and they, they have lots of giveaways so check them out online roaring fire gear and uh you know thank you to rolling fire gear for sending me this awesome pouch that now contains about a thousand dollars worth of olite stuff in it and i'm sure that you've got stuff that you could put in this that um is equally or greater uh, a greater value and uh, it's going to be well protected and well taken care of so thanks a lot make sure you hit the subscribe button turn the bell on thank you for watching all the way to the end Stay safe, and thanks for supporting Bounty Hunter Boot Camp.